Meow, 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 meow. I was just singing, friends. But you know, three bags full of wool, that would make a lot of yarn. I know who would like to play with that. Cats! Okay, friends, share with me an animal that makes a fun sound. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. This might be the farm where Jim's cats uh, are hanging out. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, Kaylin, share with us an animal that makes a fun sound. A dolphin. A dolphin. Ooh, could you teach me? I, I think I remember, but what does a dolphin sound like? So they clap their hands like this, and then they go like, Whoa, that, that was so cool. Okay, one more time. Eee! Did I get it? Okay, <laughs> everybody at home, follow along with that. Okay, ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a dolphin, E-I-E-I-O. With a wee here and a wee there. Here a wee there, a wee everywhere. A Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a coyote, E-I-E-I-O. With a ho here and a ho there, here, ho there, ho everywhere, ho ho. A <laughs> chicken. And on his farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a muck muck here and a muck muck there, here, muck there, muck everywhere, muck 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 muck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Cow. And on his farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a. Here. And I gotta go to Jim because in Jim's place there's Cowzilla. Let's let Cowzilla. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is Cowzilla. I think I'm getting through my. I, I don't know if you know. I've got a little CB radio in my ear. Is Cow. You were telling me Cowzilla is um sleeping or what? I didn't catch the whole transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Cowzilla is sleeping right now. Okay. So okay. Well, Shh. Okay. It's okay. Calzilla can sleep through anything. So yeah, so don't worry about it, right, Calzilla? Okay, so don't worry. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, okay, good to know. Okay. A dog with a rough rough here and a rough rough there. Here a rough there a rough everywhere. Rough rough. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E jump almost seven times their height. Wow. Oh, yeah, all that running and jumping, it must make them tired because cats sleep more than half the day. Oh, do you have a pet cat? Do you know someone who does have a pet cat? Cats. Meow. Wow, that's a lot of cats in the world. Whew. Okay, friends, it's time for today's one, two, three sentence story. Let's write a story in three sentences. In the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. But in the third sentence, there is a solution. Whew. So, we'll see where the story goes. We want a person, place, or thing. A 
noun. In particular, let's get things rolling with Kaylin. I never know what the words will be until right now. Kaylin, any word at all. What word should stickers. we start with? Stickers. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Stickers. Those are fun. You can have cat stickers. You could have um, all kinds of animal stickers. You could have outdoor stickers. Okay, okay, okay. Stickers. Oh, I got it. Okay. I was looking through my sticker collection when I decided to go for a walk. All right. Pretty straightforward, right? We know I'm looking through my sticker collection. I'm going to go for a walk. Hmm, do I take my stickers with me? Do I leave them at home? We don't know yet. But the next thing we find out will be from you, a word that will inspire the problem. Spoon. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Here we go. I was looking through my sticker collection when I decided to go for a walk. I was halfway to Grandma's when I realized I forgot to return her spoon that we borrowed last night. Ha <laughs> ha. So, how do we solve this problem? I was taking a walk. I was basically at Grandma's and I was like, oh no! I should have returned the spoon that we've had. How do we solve this problem? Hmm, maybe there's a cat that's going to help out. Maybe, oh, human. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Okay. Oh, I got just the idea. I got it. Ready? Here we go. I was looking through my sticker collection this morning when I decided to go for a walk. I was having a lovely time, and I was almost at Grandma's when I realized I forgot to bring the spoon back that I borrowed. Suddenly, a very friendly human... Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking, because, you know, I was thinking maybe a, a, a very friendly human... Uh, help! But then I was. I, then I started to think about, wait a minute, I got to make sure I know who this human is before, you know, I, then I was... Um, I gotta make sure I'm being smart. Safe uh, suitcase. I saw a suitcase might be a possibility. Hmm. I'm wondering. I'm gonna put it out there, friends. Every now and then, I think to myself, hmm. This is the time where I gotta think further. I'm wondering if Jim or Kaylin or anyone out there who's got a, an idea for how the human can help us. Oh yeah, right. The Wimage Board. Wimage, you're doing a great job. Wimage Board. Oh, mate, the cat. Is there a way the human and the cat work together? To help us, we got to go back and get the spoon. Oh, what do you think, Jim? Uh, well, I'm thinking maybe, maybe yeah. you ran into a friendly human who okay. said, oh, you know what? I'll run really quick because I'm a great runner. I'll run, oh. get the spoon from your house, and then yeah. I'll bring it back to you so you can take it to hmm. your grandma's and you don't have to go walking all the way back home. Good, good, good. But I, I don't want to just let any human go to my house and get a spoon. Do no, I? it's a friendly human. It's someone oh. you know. Oh, it's, it's, oh, they have to be your neighbor. Maybe they're it's, your neighbor. They're your next door. Okay. I was just heading that way anyway, and I'm okay. a fast runner. <laughs> got it. So it's good. Yes. Good point. So now I got you. So now I got neighbor. you. Right. Yes. They're over all the time. No big deal. I, so they're yes, just going to ask your mom. They're saying, hey, where's that spoon we borrowed from grandma? I know. I know. They're going to be like, hey, I saw Wimmy going. And then, yeah, it, it's all good. It's it's Maybe that person was even at the dinner last night, and they knew exactly about the spoon. Exactly. Because they're over for dinner all the time. They're your neighbor. Yeah. I love right, it. Okay, I think, we, I think we did pretty pretty good. Thanks, Jim. You know, friends, sometimes when you write a story, sometimes it goes really smoothly. Sometimes it takes a lot of time. And a lot, you know what? A lot of times, some of the things I write, it just, I just got to come back to it later and see where it goes. But Women's Board is looking great. See if you want to add, maybe, I wonder, I will request um, Women's Board more stickers from my sticker collection. And then I love the human there and the spoon and grandma. And so anyone in the neighborhood is welcome to the celebration when the spoon gets back to grandma <laughs> love it friends okay let's see um it's, we're writing a story we're creating and uh oh man oh thanks thanks for that that's very nice of you <laughs> i'm so glad you're you're with us buddy okay let's see um it's time to learn how to say cat in different languages in today's language explorers <laughs> In Spanish is gato. Gato. In French, cat is sha. Sha. In Swahili, cat is paka. 
alpaca. In ASL, or American Sign Language, cat is signed cat. Just like this, cat. In German, cat is katze, katze. Cat in Haitian Creole is shot, shot. languages and I noticed in Haitian Creole and French it was spelled the same it's so cool it's so cool just like in English how some words in English are similar to words in other languages and words in other languages are also similar to each other words are cool people are cool okay friends guess what time it is it <laughs> Gym time. I know. I was like, wow, I just rushed to get there. I, I it's know. the time it is. I, it's gym time. I know. You were excited. Friends at home watching this, I got to just take a moment and, and let you remind you all not only is Jim on the show singing, he's running the show and he's helping me out with saving the story. And uh, the list goes on. So it's all good. And I got Baby Bumblebee with me today, too. Hello. So cool. Oh, hi, How you baby, doing, Bumblebee? baby Bumblebee. Oh, it's good. Hi. All right, so we had a song that we were going to do together. So I don't have a cat because, as I told you earlier, oh. I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, so gotcha. yep. I thought for this song, which is called My Cat Eats Anything, um, it, it's it's I don't really have a cat. So Baby Bumblebee is going to play the role of a cat today. Fun. So, yeah, you see, I got to pretend that Baby Bumblebee looks like a cat and sounds like a cat. Although you might kind of sound like a cat, right, Baby Bumblebee? Yeah. See, you might go, oh, nice. that was a cat. Yeah. This baby bumblebee, though. Okay, so what we need is for you to share a food, any food. It doesn't matter what food it is. And so with your ideas, we're going to get the ball rolling. So, Winnie, what is a food, any food? Broccoli. Broccoli. Nice. Okay. And I'm going to ask Kaylin for an idea. Kaylin, I need a food, any food. Hmm. Let's go with ice cream. Ooh, ice cream, any particular flavor. Vanilla. Oh, all right. Vanilla ice cream. Thank you. All right. Vanilla mm -hmm. ice cream. All right. And let's see. Ooh, cat food. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Cat food. I'm writing these down so that we can use them in our song then. Nice. All right. So we've got broccoli, vanilla ice cream, and cat food so far. Yep. Pizza. Yeah. I love mm. pizza. Okay. Pizza's good. Pickles. Pickles. I love pickles. That's a good one. Pickles. All right, we need a couple more foods. When we get, oh, spaghetti. Oh, I was just thinking some type of pasta, and look, there it is, spaghetti. Nice. All right, one, one more. What do you think, mm. Wimmy? Oh, look at that. We got bagels. Bagels. All right, we're all set, I think. All right, so this is a song called "My Cat Eats Anything," with Baby Bumblebee playing the role of the cat. Meow. Here we go. My cat eats anything. My cat eats anything. My cat eats anything. But for some reason, she won't eat broccoli. I just don't like it. That's okay. We all like different things. That's true. My cat likes vanilla ice cream. Meow. My cat likes cat food. Meow. That one's not so weird, is it? No. No. My cat likes pizza, Meow. but for some reason she won't eat broccoli. Oh. I just don't like broccoli. My cat eats pickles. My cat eats spaghetti. My cat eats bagels. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try, I just can't get my cat to eat any broccoli. It's too great for me. Yeah, I can see that. My cat eats anything. My cat eats anything. My cat eats anything. But for some reason, she won't eat broccoli. We all like different things, and that's okay. Nice. Oh, Thanks, oh, friends. Oh, I love this 
so thanks, good Thanks, Jim. Thanks, friends. Jim. <laughs> thanks, baby. Bumblebee. <laughs> I, was just, I, I was just trying to be silly. It's okay. Okay, friends. Speaking of silly, let's go see what Sibley's joke for today is. What is a cat's favorite color? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Purple. <laughs> Sibley, you did a really great job of the purr. purr. Yeah, yeah, that was really fun. Okay, friends, let's take a deep breath. Breathe in with me. Hold it. Let it loose. It's time for today's slowing down. Take another breath. Hold it. Three, four, and let it loose. <laughs> Friends, we love books. <laughs> it's time for Check Out This Book. <laughs> Today's theme is about cats. So every time I read about cats for a story time, I choose uh, the same book. And I'd like to introduce that book to you today. So the book that I have for you today is called There Are Cats in This Book. Uh, the author and illustrator are Vivian Schwartz. And it's written by um, Candlewick Press or published by Candlewick Press and this book is it's a flap book so throughout the book there are flaps you open them up and um, there are many surprises in the book and even the cover itself is a, a flap um, as you can see the cats are kind of hiding right there under the front cover and so what I really like about this book is that it's very interactive with the flaps and engages the uh, engages my story time audience really well and the cats are also very interactive and many things happen in the story and it's very humorous i really love funny books and the best part about the book overall is the message at the end um and it talks about how um, the the book asks if you like the cats and that the cats really liked you and it's a very positive message about cats and animals in general so I would really recommend this book oh I'm gonna look for that book for sure ready to play a game friends Jim, Scribble Jim, and Kaylin and I, and I want you to play along at home. It's time for Make a Rhyme. Woohoo! Let's get right into it. We all know what to do. Friends at home, play along. First word I got, Jim, is cat. Cat. Uh, how about bat? That rhymes. You got it. All right. Um, bun. How about bun? I love it. Hmm. What about lick? Ooh, lick. Uh, trick. Correct. Nice. Yeah, I got it right. Okay. Um, feet. Feet. Neat. <laughs> that rhymes. All right. Uh, log. Fog. Ooh. Yep. Hmm. Let's go with tip. Tip. Sip. I'll take a sip of water. Yes. 
<laughs> um, how about... When you said log, and then you said fog, Kaylin, I was thinking of, how about dog? Let's <gasps> keep that rhyme going. <gasps> On a cat show? Is yeah. that a good idea? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, we'll go I with, so. Okay, dog. Um, how about hog? Oh, yeah. That rhymes. All right. Um, tree. B. Ooh, baby bumblebee. You like baby that bumblebee. one? I love it. Nice. All right. <laughs> nice. What about... Lawn. Tell me the word again. Lawn. Oh. Lawn. Like, okay, the, the we're going to go take a walk on the front lawn. Um, lawn. Fawn. A baby what? deer. Nice. <laughs> I got it. Got it. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh. We did it. The music we tells us it. time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying job. to keep on track. We did it. Oh, look at that. We did it. Did you get some rhymes at home as you were playing along with us, I hope? <laughs> Friends, you can play that game anytime. In any of our games, put a twist on it. See what worlds you add, what things you change. Hey, friends. Um, it is time right now for a new segment. It is called, Will They Be Friends? Do you want to come up here? Come on. Come on, Coco. <gasps> Look. Come on. What do you think of this cat? This is Fifi. Hello. What do you think? So many sniffs. Are you going to join us? Oh, yes. What a big girl. All right, Coco. Coco, you're in the broadcast. What do you think of our friend? What do you think of our friend? Not so sure? This cat's name is Fifi. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. We have Coco here, too. Coco, do you think you... And Fifi can be friends? Can I pet you? Can I pet you? What do you think? Oh, maybe they can be friends. Coco, can you look at all of our friends watching? This could work well. Maybe. What do you think, friends? Will this work? Coco has met Fifi the cat. And it looks like it might have been okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Coco. Good job, Fifi. Oh, yes. Are we friends? Mwah. Ah, the answer is yes. <laughs> I love it, too. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, friends, let's go see what the Wimage board has been up to. Wimage board, let's see the new adventures. <gasps> So many spoons! You get a spoon! You get a spoon! You get a spoon, Grandma! We, she was so happy that we brought the spoon back, and then she was like, Actually, I'm going to give you a spoon for the dog, for the pig. Oh, the wait, frog? Dog? Hog? Oh, that was from our game, I think! Oh, man, look at that. The neighborhood. We've got to make some soup, friends. I think that's what we got to do and have more potlucks, more gatherings. <laughs> Thanks, Women's Board! Great job! <laughs> Look at that cat, the cat and the dog, just like in in the with Coco and Fifi. Those that cat and dog are friends too. All right, friends, are you ready for today's find it fast? Okay, friends, we need to find something that starts with C, like cat. Let's find something fluffy, like most cats. Let's find something with four legs, like most cats. What could it be? C. What starts with C? Car. Couch. Mm, scribble, Jim. What'd you find? Well, I have this cup. Cup starts with C. Yep. I have this dog. Again, I'm going with a dog on a cat show. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I have this dog that is fluffy Ooh. and actually has four legs. <gasps> nice. So that'll do it. Yep. I like it, friends. What else starts with C? What else could be fluffy? What else could have four legs? Kaylin, what have you found? So I have this cat plushie, which starts with C. Yeah. It's really fluffy, and it has four tiny, tiny legs. Tiny little legs. Ding, 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 ding. You got all three. <laughs> That's great. Let's see. What else is fluffy? Um, a pillow? 
a fluffy blanket. Uh, what else has four legs? A dog. A giraffe. Anybody have a giraffe? Um, a cow? Uh, twins? <laughs> see what I did there? Twins. Uh, let's see. Canary. That's a bird. That starts with C. Depending on how you spell ketchup. <laughs> I've always wondered about that. Anyone know why ketchup is spelled two different ways? I bet there's a history to it. I bet there is. There's gotta be. There's a history to everything. Well, friends, thanks for playing Find It Fast. Mm -hmm. I never talked about my little cat puppet. That's cool. My friend Emma made this for me. Hi, Emma. Do you remember when you made this cat puppet years ago? We still have it. We love it. Yeah. Okay, friends, we had another great show. That's it. This time, uh, I always feel sad, but the good news is we got more shows to come. So, we'll see you at another show, friends. Let's get ready for the dance party. Let's bring in Kaylin. Let's bring in Scribble Jim. Hey, wait a minute. Kaylin, you start with C. <laughs> a cat dance party. Oh, look at that. Kaylin's got her that cat dancing and the dog. And I got this puppet. Do, 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 do. Freeze. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Akrisher. Consumers Credit Union, Meyer, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, and with additional support from these great partners.